Welcome back everybody to the official channel of Home of Games, where today we saw some mythic abilities re-added into Fortnite. But first, summer break is just about to end. Before you know it, you'll be heading back to school. But I have good news. If you hit the thumbs up button, there's a 50% chance that you'll get an extra week of summer break. Test your luck and hit the like button. Now I don't know about you guys, but Chapter 3 Season 3 so far is pretty freaking cool. But I also think that Chapter 2 Season 4, the Marvel Season, absolutely blew this one out of the water which is a big reason why I'm so happy to see the Marvel Mythic abilities return. But first, look how close we are to 4.24 million subscribers. We literally couldn't be any closer. It truly would mean the world if you could hit that subscribe button and be my 4 millionth 240,000th subscriber. Last video, I asked you guys to name this emote, and there's a bunch of people on the screen right now who got it right. For this video, we have a new emote. If you know the name of this, make sure to leave it down below in the comments. But alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we have wasted too much time. The old Mythic ability have made the return let's hop into a game and let's get into it now before we hop in game and check out the new mythic abilities but first things first i actually want to explain a super awesome storyline that has been taking place during no sweat summer it has to do with lil whip who's basically one of the main characters here in the no sweat summer event and you're able to find him as an npc located randomly around the fortnite map next to one of his ice cream trucks if you didn't know lil whip is actually a rapper and he released the track inside of the fortnite item shop that sounded like this And making a song like that is apparently really expensive because Lil Whip actually had to get a loan from the underwriter. It's basically an evil insurance agent located at Tilted Towers. And every time you go up to him, he tries his absolute hardest to sell you a terrible insurance plan. Now that we know that the underwriter and Lil Whip teamed up together in order to make that incredible rap song, things get a lot more interesting when you find out from Lil Whip himself that he has missed five of his last loan payments to the underwriter. And he also goes on to mention that he's actively avoiding the underwriter because he's not being very chill about the loan. So here's the plan, boys. We're in a game and I have equipped the low whip skin. We're gonna make our way towards the underwriter to see what he has to say about this loan situation. And I bet none of you could predict what's gonna happen next. So here we go, boys. We have arrived at the No Sweat Insurance building. We have the underwriter right in front of us. So we wanna go up and talk to him. And he says, where's that swift return you promised on my investment? Obviously, he's talking about the loan that he gave low whip to help produce his rap album and apparently Lil Whip said he would get a swift return on his investment which obviously was a lie. Now, just one more thing before we get to the new mythic abilities. But first, we all know that when Fortnite Chapter 3 released, we received an entirely brand new Fortnite map. It actually includes two insane glitches that are gonna absolutely blow your mind. And we're out of the battle bus, head into the very first crazy glitch right now, which is actually located off the southwest corner of the map, right outside of Greasy Grove. Now, you can kind of see the very first glitch right now if you look right below the little mushrooms. But let's walk up and take a closer look at it. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the Fortnite map is literally broken. And it's not just kind of broken either. Like, you can notice this crack in the Fortnite map literally just keeps on going and keeps on going. If you look closely, it almost looks like there's a crack going through the ground underneath here. Oh my goodness, we're also able to shoot down there. That's super cool. Let's see if we can ride an animal down here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. No, darn it. Maybe if I shockwave myself, that might work. Oh, no, it didn't work. Let's try again. Darn it. Obviously, this isn't all that useful of a glitch, but it is cool to see an area that Epic Games just legitimately accidentally broke. Now, just one more glitch before we get to the new mythic abilities. And this one is even cooler, and it's located at the Tilted Towers location. And as you can see in this little video, apparently, in one of the buildings, there's actually a secret button located on the trash can that can give you access to a secret room. So here we go, boys. We're in game, and we're headed towards Tilted Towers. We got a bunch of enemies landing here, man. So Hopefully, we don't get clapped. Pick up a weapon just in case anyone decides to be toxic. And I'm pretty sure it was located exactly in this red and blue building right in front of me. Specifically, right over here, ladies and gentlemen. Looking at the video, I'm pretty sure this is the exact same spot. Uh-oh, but there's enemy footsteps on me right now, boys. Let me eliminate this guy first. Yes! Now it's time to try the glitch, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm pretty sure the button was right here on this trash can. So let's try this out, boys. We'll walk up to it. I'm not seeing any button here, bro. Hello? Fortnite? 
Is this gonna work? This glitch is busted. Now it's finally time to showcase the mythic abilities that have returned. And technically, I guess these mythic abilities aren't new at all. And most of us have probably used them at least once in our lifetime. Specifically, I'm talking about all the way back in chapter two, season four, the Marvel season. We literally had more mythic abilities and mythic weapons than we've ever had in any season ever before. And almost a full chapter later, it seems like everybody in the Fortnite community still thinks chapter two, season four is one of the greatest seasons we've ever had. Throughout the duration of chapter two, season four, we received a total of nine mythic abilities, all of which you can see on your screen right now. But those aren't the only Marvel related mythics that we've seen in Fortnite, because there's actually another eight Marvel mythics that were added for the very first Marvel event that released about two years ago. We received the Infinity War LTM, where we got to literally use Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet. And this was also the very first time we ever saw any Marvel mythics in Fortnite. They add up to a total of 17 different mythic weapons and mythic abilities from Marvel, making up more than 25% of the mythic loot pool in all of Fortnite's history. But let's talk about these mythics returning. First one we have to talk about actually has to do with the Wolverine mythic ability, which is probably one of my favorite mythic abilities in all the chapter two season four. But maybe that was just because it was so incredibly satisfying to eliminate the Wolverine boss because he was so difficult to defeat. Now this isn't one of the mythics that they already re-added into the game, but they are working on updating it, ladies and gentlemen. They're upping the damage that it's actually gonna do whenever you attack an enemy. But believe it or not, next time we see Wolverine's mythic ability inside of the game, it's gonna be even more powerful than it originally was. It would honestly be a major problem if there was gonna be a Wolverine boss to get the Wolverine mythic. As we all know, the way you get a mythic here in Chapter 3 Season 3 isn't by eliminating a boss, but instead by getting it from your little reality seed. But here's the deal with the rest of the Fortnite Marvel mythic abilities. So as we all know, over the last couple of months, Epic Games and Marvel have teamed up to release a comic series known as the Fortnite Marvel Zero War. And within these comics, it's basically a mashup between the Marvel and the Fortnite universe. It basically explains more about what is going down with the Fortnite storyline. Each time something happens inside of the comic book, we'll see something similar happen inside of Fortnite, which is exactly why this month's crew pack was the Wolverine Zero War skin, which is actually the Wolverine from the comics. Now, the last issue of the Marvel Zero War comics are set to come out on September 28th, which just so happens to line up perfectly with this season's end date and the very first update of the next season. It's rumored that in the last edition of the Fortnite Marvel Zero War, both the Fortnite and the Marvel characters are gonna arrive on our Fortnite map, where they will return for yet another Marvel-themed season, this time being Chapter 3, Season 4. Which makes a ton of sense, because back before the original Marvel Season's started, Donald Mustard himself, the creative director over at Epic Games, came out and said that this is only the beginning of everything that Epic Games has planned in the future with Marvel, and even hinted at a possible additional Fortnite and Marvel season. This is further confirmed by the fact that Epic Games has updated and redesigned the Marvel item shop, meaning that at the absolute very least, we're gonna see every single one of the Marvel skins return to the item shop here very, very soon. Now on your screen right now, you can see all 17 different Marvel Mythic weapons and abilities that we've received throughout the entire history of Fortnite, and I'm curious to see which one is your favorite, so make sure you leave that down below in the comment section for me. I already mentioned that the Wolverine mythic ability is my favorite, and I also think it's the most likely mythic to return to Fortnite because they already updated all of the damage and stats for it. As soon as the mythic abilities make the return into Fortnite Battle Royale, I'm gonna make a tweet over my Twitter account, at HomeGamesYT. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.